Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video, and this one is titled, Are the signs that I am seeing indicating that my wife is cheating on me, or am I striking gold in a silver mine? Please make sure you like the video and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. I am married to my wife for 12 years, no kids. We had our ups and downs, and in the last year, I've been experiencing some dead bedroom syndrome. Nevertheless, we, at least I, had always trusted each other. Back in April of this year, I found some nude pictures, very vanilla, of my wife on her cell phone. Although it's past protected, we knew each other's passwords. I questioned her. She told me she created a fake profile in a dating app and used another woman's face and some crop pictures of her without her head to see how the response would be. She told me that she was feeling with low self-esteem, needed some external validation. By the way, we have never exchanged news before. A lot of crying and a lot of arguing later, I decided that I could forgive her, that we would work things out, etc. After this, she changed her password and became more possessive of her cell phone. There was never a problem to go out with friends without the other as long as we tell each other where we're going and with whom. It was always a green light, on both sides. This last Saturday, she told me she was going to the beach with a friend. Let's call her Abby. She left home around 11 a.m. and would come back around 5 to 6 p.m. Again, not a problem. When it was around 4 p.m., I had to call her. I've got the voicemail and did not get a response for 10 minutes. We talked briefly over the phone and that was it. However, surprisingly, from 5 p.m. onwards, Abby and another friend of my wife, let's call her Barbara, started posting pictures on social media, Facebook and Instagram. I am a friend of them there. Of them together, Abby and Barbara, without my wife in another town, a lot of pictures and stories. When my wife got home that day, I confronted her asked where she was and with whom. She replied she was at the beach with Abby. I told her about her friend's postings and said that Abby was in a different town. She argued that Abby and Barbara went Friday to that particular town and was only posting today. I called her response a BS and told her I didn't believe her. After that, we had a huge fight and hardly spoke on Sunday. Monday morning, I was in the living room when she woke up and went to the bathroom. A few minutes later, her cell phone alarm goes off. She never leaves the bathroom to turn it off, so I went there to do it. To my disgruntled surprise, I saw on her blocked screen a couple of messages from her Instagram alert from a guy I had never heard of before. Obviously, after she left the bathroom, I confronted her again, asking who the F is that guy? And why is he texting her? She told me he's a friend of Abby's boyfriend that she gave her Instagram, but she doesn't reply to his texts and just deletes them. I said to her that she should stop BSing me and we had another huge fight. To the point, we are considering divorce now. To make things worse, none of us cannot move out right now, nor have families to go to. We live in a different country of ours, and we have agreed to bear each other's presence until this cove lets us do something. So, ladies, what is your opinion? Is she cheating, or am I seeing horns in a horse's head? And the first comment says, you knew the obvious answer to this question before you asked it, but it's human nature to grasp for something that disproves what your gut is telling you. I too went through this, and I'm aware of how much it sucks. I'm sorry you're going through such pain. Worse still is that you're stuck with one another for the foreseeable future. Two options. One, stay with the understanding that your love life is going to be fulfilled by someone else and you're only together for as long as you financially need to be. Two, screw your credit rating, your physical possessions, and dump that B. You can reciprocate from the loss of a job, a bank account, and what have you much easier than sticking around and watching her rub salt in your open wounds. I say those are only two options because I didn't read very much remorse or fear or shame from her in any of the responses you described. Most married people who cheat, particularly women, 
wish they didn't have to, and if confronted will feel a level of shame and regret and sorrow. Perhaps it is merely the way in which you wrote it, but I sensed none of those things. That leads me to believe that she doesn't care about your marriage anymore and was only keeping it on the down low to avoid the fight and make life easier on her. If so, there is precious little chance she'll return to that loving faithful spouse you thought she was. The only thing you can know for sure and have total control over is yourself. How to use this to become a better person and wiser human being. I cannot tell you which of the two options is correct for you because I don't know the future, know the two of you, but I will highly recommend that you forgive her. Does it mean you put up with it? No. It does however mean that you avoid the bitterness that I've seen in so many people too stubborn to forgive. You forgive her for your benefit, not hers. Whatever you decide, I wish you all the best. Heal. And the OP replied, thank you for your answer. I see your options and agree with them. She hasn't shown remorse to the act itself because I think she wants to save face. But she has shown some sort of this feeling when we discuss divorce and future steps. After all, we are still by ourselves in a new country. The forgiveness part is perfect. I will not let this bitterness consume me. Thanks. And the last few comments say, I would just look at her and tell her that her actions, her shadiness, her lying, and her cheating, the password, is all the proof that you need. As far as you are concerned, she's cheating. The trust, respect, and loyalty has been damaged, and it is all on her if she wants to save this marriage. You are not going to fight or argue with her. You are not going to look at her phone, and that you are done with that and worrying about us. I am not going to ask her where she is going and who she is with since you already in your mind know what she is doing. And in closing, tell her that you truly used to trust her and now you are starting to see a different person. And the OP replied, thank you for your answer. That's what I am already doing. I will not let this bitterness eat me inside out. If she wants to save the marriage, she will have to come clean. And a reply to that says, thank you for your response. You need to really focus on you. Start working out hard, which will benefit you mentally and physically. Be cordial to your wife. Do not allow any arguing or raising of the voice. Essentially, be a roommate. If you have another bedroom, move into it. Let her see that you are starting to distance yourself from the marriage and her. Start new hobbies, not gaming, to occupy your time. Maybe occasionally ask her if she wants to go for a walk. If she's trying to repair the relationship, do not be cold, but let her know you're cautious and wary. Hopefully, she will get worried that the distance is starting. If she doesn't seem to care, well, then you will have your answer and you will already be on the path to your next chapter and you will be on the road to a better mental place. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and be sure to comment below what other subreddits you want me to cover.